Welcome to The Recon Trader. In today's video, I will show you what I look for out of a chart and price action when I am getting ready to set up a profitable grid bot. And one of the keys to a profitable grid bot is this sideways choppy price action that you see here on my example for my VET USDT grid bot. At the end of the day, the idea for a grid bot is to buy the dip on the way down and sell the rip for profit on the way up. And the grids are basically made up of open limit buy or sell orders. The red lines are your limit sell orders and the green lines of the grid are your limit buy orders. And so when the price goes down and starts taking out the limit buy orders, you're buying at a lower price on the way down. And on the flip side, when the price goes up and starts taking out these red limit sell orders, you're selling for profit. And so this sideways choppy motion, which dips and rips is very profitable when it comes to grid bots. Now, if you're not familiar with the Bitscap platform that I will be deploying the grid bot on today, it's basically an all-in-one trading platform and they have a trading terminal, uh, arbitrage features, demo mode, so you can actually paper trade your grid bots before you deploy them to live fire. But today's bot will be deployed to live fire. Now, you might be wondering what type of investment is involved to get started. And the answer is you can actually get started for free. Bitscap offers a 14 day free trial. And if you use the link I will drop down in the description below, you will actually get access to the pro plan during your 14 day free trial. And that will give you 20 active trading bots and the trailing up and trailing down feature for those bots. And I will be utilizing those features today on the bot I deploy. Now, after your 14 day free trial expires, you can get started with the basic plan for $24 a month. That will allow you to deploy two active trading bots, but you won't have access to the trailing up and down feature. You might want to step up to the advanced plan for $57 a month. That will get you five active trading bots and access to the trailing up and down features. Now with that out of the way, let's get to actually configuring one of these grid bots. So if we jump over here to my Bitscap dashboard under the bots tab, you can see I only have two bots currently running. I have a VET USDT bot and I have a BTC USDT bot. And as you can see, VET has had the perfect price action I would want from a grid bot. And with that price action, the bot has been deployed for 27 days, almost 20 eight days and currently with a 28 percent almost a 29 percent profit the bot is producing a one percent profit per day over a 30-day period now my btc usdt bot is only producing about a half a percent profit per day on its grid bot but in reality, Bitcoin is not going to be nearly as volatile as some of these other altcoins. And so at the end of the day, both of these bots, in my opinion, are winning the battle. Now, in order to add a new grid bot, I need to come up here to the start new bot button and give that a click. And then I have a choice of three different type of bots I can deploy. The combo bot is the futures bot, and I don't really use grid bots when I'm trading with leverage. I prefer to day trade and capture much greater profits via the day trading than a grid bot. And so today I will be deploying an S bot, which is ideal for that sideways choppy price action. So I'm going to give S bot a click. And now I have access to the configuration of the bot. So the first thing I need to select is my exchange. Now, if you're new to Bitscap, you will need to connect your exchanges to the platform. And you do that under the My Exchanges tab. And you're just going to connect using API keys. And by doing so, you will never have to send money to Bitscap. Your money will stay secure on your exchange as it can be when being held on an exchange. And Bitscap will simply send buy and sell orders on your behalf. Now, I have a couple exchanges connected. And today, I'm going to be using Qcoin for my exchange. So I'll give that a click. Next, I need to select what pair I want the grid bot to actually trade. And I can select pretty much from all the pairs available on Qcoin, but I don't trade crap coins So my selection is usually limited to the coins. I actually day trade and with doing that I actually have a pretty good idea of their current price action and what I might be able to expect when deploying that pair on a grid bot now today I'm going to search for Seoul USDT 
And looking at this chart, the first thing I notice is the price action is somewhat in the middle of the high and low of the actual grid. And that's where I typically like to see the price. I want it to be about in the middle. I certainly don't want it at the high because then we could see one of these big sell-offs and it could be a while before I get back into the profit. I also don't want to necessarily have it here at the bottom because we could just see a rise up and it's just going to liquidate all my soul and not have any of this choppy price action. When I'm in the middle, I typically see either a pull back, which is fine, I'm buying at a lower price, or I do start to see a run up, but it probably won't have far to run before it runs into, say, some resistance and maybe get a rejection and get another dip to buy low again and then another shot at the high. And so this price action is ideal for what I'm looking for. We get rips up, we get rips down, we find certain levels of resistance that the price is running into and support. And essentially, since this point right about back here, the price action has been somewhat trading between support and this upper resistance, which typically will generate a decent profit out of your grid box. And so with that in mind, I typically set my upper level somewhere around prior resistance. So if we drag this down into around this level here, we can see some prior resistance at this level. And I might actually take it down a little bit more into this level here where I see a touch here, a touch here and pretty close to a touch there. And the fact that I have the ability to enable the trailing up if this price action does take off towards the top side, the bot will follow that price action up and be able to stay in the battle. Now on the flip side, the lower price, I typically bring into prior support. Now I am going to enable trailing down, so I don't necessarily need the bottom of this channel. Where I'm gonna come into is down here at the most recent support, which was also support back here. And that's kind of where we based our resistance off of as well was back here. And so that's the price action channel I'm going to pull my lower level into. And so now I have my upper and lower level set. I'm actually going to make some adjustments manually over here. And I'm gonna set my lower price at 150 and my upper price at let's say 175 and that actually ends up placing my price action just about in the middle of this grid i could actually drag the upper limit to the top of this resistance and with that adjustment that brings the price action to pretty close to the middle of this grid now with my upper and lower limit set, I need to determine the grid spacing, which is the spacing between these open limit orders on both the buy side and the sell side. And I typically start with around 0 0.70 grid spacing. That would give me 24 grid levels in total. So if I scrunch this back down, you can now see all the grid levels, the open limit buy and sell orders and you can see the spacing has expanded in between each one of the grids. Now again, I have trailing up enabled. I also have trailing down enabled, and I'm gonna set my trailing down stop where it will actually stop trailing the price down at around 120. And a quick note, in order for this bot to trail down, you will need to hold some reserve USDT in your exchange account because it's going to have to open additional limit by orders it actually has to have some usdt to hold because you need to be able to fill the buy order you can't fill the buy order with zero usdt on your exchange you need to have extra usdt on your exchange and a quick way to calculate how much usdt you need you can take your total investment and in this case i'm going to give the bot 500 usdt and divide it by the number of grid levels so 24 divided by 500 would give you the amount of around 21 dollars per grid needed on the way down so if you were going to have say 10 more grids on the way down then you would need an additional 210 dollars and so when the price follows that down, it basically will build more of these green limit buy orders, but it will need that reserve capital on your exchange to build those orders. And at the same time that it places a new 
limit buy order it will cancel a limit sell order but that limit sell order is based on your base currency in this case Sol, and so it doesn't add any funds to your exchange to fill a buy order it will just simply take this top limit sell order and move it to the bottom of your limit sell order and thus it doesn't free up any funds for your bot to buy more of the soul you'll need usdt in your account to do that all right with that all being said and my trailing down stop set at 120 i'm ready to go ahead and give this a back test and see how this bot would actually perform with these parameters now it is important to understand that these backtest figures don't guarantee future results and in reality these backtest features I believe are based on bot profit which does not always equate to your actual profit at the end of the day because a fluctuation in the price can actually affect your overall profit and I have done videos in the past on how to determine what your actual profit is and so you might want to check out those videos if you don't quite understand the difference between bot profit and your actual profit and loss under your change tab now the back test results do look promising it is over that 1% profit per day uh, on a three-day basis and obviously on a 30-day basis I'd be up around 36% had I deployed this bot at the beginning of the back test. Now I can actually tell you as far as trading fee goes on KuCoin, I don't pay 0.2%, I actually pay 0.08%. And so that is actually going to change my results. Now we're almost at 5% over a three day period or almost 50% in a 30 day period. But again, remember, past performance does not guarantee future results. So I think this bot is actually ready to deploy. I have my exchange of KuCoin. The pair is Sol USDT. The amount of ammo I gave the bot will be $500. And you can actually see the minimum amount that I'd have to give this bot is only $55. So you could get started for a very low amount on one of these grid bots but I will be giving the bot 500 USDT. The lower and upper price limits have been set up based on support and resistance. That's how I prefer to do it. My price action is approximately in the middle of the actual grid, so I have room to either go down, maybe hit support, and buy the dip, and then perhaps sell the rip back up for profit. Or on the flip side, the price could go back up and sell for some profit and then hit this resistance and perhaps start that choppy action that we saw previously. And then my grid spacing, the amount of space between each one of these grids is 0.7% with a total of 24 grids. And the total of grids does not really actually matter as long as I have this trailing up and trailing down feature enabled because it will continue to follow the price and build new grids out regardless of the direction the price action decides to take. My my stop trailing down is set at 120 and that is based on a longer term support level for this actual pair now I do have a couple more features I could set up uh, take profit for instance once this bot achieved a certain amount of profit I could have the bot stop however as long as this bot is able to achieve the objective of around 1% profit per day I would be more than willing to let it run and since it's sole I might actually even let it fall a little below the 1% profit per day because I am willing to hold soul for the long term. And with that being said, I will not be using a stop loss. And keep in mind, that is extremely risky. But for me, I am willing to hold on to soul for the very long term. And that means years, one, two, three, four years, as I would be willing to wait out the next bear market, knowing that in the next bull market, soul will achieve even higher all time highs. So I won't be using a stop loss on this particular bot, but it's extremely important to remember not using a stop loss is like going into battle without armor eventually you could get killed and so we ran the back test now it's time to just preview one last time all my settings 
and the bot type is SBOT, which is good for the sideways moving action. Exchange KuCoin, pair Sol USDT. The quote currency or profit currency is going to be USDT. That is the currency I will be capturing profit in. And then my levels are the actual grids. I have 24 grids. And then the step is the actual grid spacing, and that is 0.7%. The upper limit price or the high price is 177. The high price mode is trailing, so it will actually go up above the high price if the price action continues up. My lower grid price is 150 USDT. But again, I have the trailing mode enabled all the way down to 120. And now I'm ready to click confirm. Now, in order for this bot to satisfy those limit sell orders that it has to place to build out this grid, it will need to buy 1.26 SOL, which will be bought at market price. And before you deploy the bot, it does actually tell you that it will need to buy that SOL in the amount of $288. And so the bot will use 288 USDT from the 500 USDT that I gave this bot as starting ammo. So again, I'm just gonna click confirm. And there's that message, yes, buy. The market order has been placed. Market order has been filled. The bot is starting up and you can see the grid starting to populate on the chart and the bot is started so now I can click done and so now the bot is live and that pretty much wraps it up so if you like this video do me a favor spike a like I will do an update on how this bot is actually performing so now would be a good time to shoot that subscribe button if you have any questions or comments feel free to drop those in the comment section down below I will drop a link to Bitscap in the description down below and in closing remember never send your money into battle without first doing your recon see you in the next video